What's up you guys? Welcome back to another Roblox video. Today we're going to be playing this color story. You and your friends are enjoying a beautiful world when you realize that the earth is in danger and may turn black and white forever. Can you save the world and bring its colors back? All right guys, here we go. Whoa, look at this. Where we got to get on the bus? All right. I have no idea where we're going. But look at that. The whole bus is already full, dude. That took like 1 second. Hey guys, we're finally here at the bowling alley. Are you guys ready? This is our friend Ethan. Where's Ethan at? Yes, I am. This is gonna be so fun. Yo, what's up, Ethan? I'm gonna get a coffee. You can play something or come get a coffee with me. All right, sounds great. Yo, can we actually bowl in this? I think we can. Explore and play and enjoy the bowling alley. Oh, $5 to bowl. Wait, how do we get... Oh, we got to pick up money. Whoa. So let's try to grab some of this money here. That way we can bowl. Okay, we got some more. There we go. We got six bucks. Got a little bit more money. We have $12. Let's see what we could do. I need to bowl a strike. You only get one chance. Press stop when the line meets in the middle of the score. Oh. Yeah, that was a really bad throw. It's going to be a gutter ball. I just got a gutter ball, dude. <laughs> I wasted $5. No, I didn't hit any pins. I think it said that we can make money. We get a dollar every pin that we hit. There we go. Come on, I need to make some of that money back. Oh, I almost got a strike. We got $9. Let's see if we can do it again before the timer runs out. Come on, give me a strike. Give me a strike. Here we go. Uh, steering. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's almost 7 p.m. I guess we should go back now. Yo, I have an idea. Let's go back to my house and play some games. All right. Oh, yeah, sure. Can't wait to play it. Play that skateboarding game. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah, Liz, we're all going to go to Ethan's house for the rest of the night. Let's do this because Ethan has the new skateboarding game. Oh my gosh, there's so many of us going in there. We're going to have to take turns playing the skateboard game. We got some lemonade right here. All right. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Delicious. All right, Ethan. Let's see that new skateboard game, dude. I'm kind of excited. Go to the console room to play games. Whoa, Ethan, you have a cool house. Nice. Oh, that's a cute dog. Hey, where's your dog at? Okay, who's ready to play some games? Uh, me. Yo, he's got the PS5? What? I don't even have the PS5. Crazy. Jump over obstacles and reach the end. Oh. Oh. So we have to hit space bar. Everyone else is playing. Okay, we can't hit any of the obstacles. It's such a chill game. It's got so many chill vibes in it. I'm trying to do a kickflip, though. How do you do tricks? I don't even think we do anything but jump. Wait, how am I not in first place when everyone else has been like running into stuff? I haven't hit a single thing. I'm passing some people up. Dude, that dude just flew all the way to the front. Can we reach the end without hitting a single obstacle? We only got a couple more. Watch me mess up right here on the last one. Yes, we did it. I didn't hit a single one. Did I get like money or something? Wow, that game was fun. I'm probably just gonna go and make some coffee. Ethan, you just had a coffee at the bowling alley. Bro, you need another one? Sure, why not? I'll take one. Ethan, Ethan's got a little coffee addiction. There we go, we got our coffee. Thank you very much. Um, what was that? Oh, heck nah, not the lights. <laughs> uh, sorry guys. I'll go and check what's wrong right now. Yeah, and you'll either never return or some random monster will spawn on us like every other story game. What are you talking about? Nothing's gonna happen. We're gonna go with Ethan, you guys. We need to make sure Ethan does not spawn into a monster like every other story game. We're gonna go see what the heck that was all about. Eh, it looks okay to me. So here's like the breaker box. Everything's fine. By the way, is it only me or you also think that the colors of this place... What the heck was that? 
<laughs> yeah, we we heard that. How could you not? Something's wrong with Ethan's neighbor. What's going on? Let's get out of here. I'm scared. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea, Ethan. Check on the neighbor. Uh, Mr. Neighbor? All right, follow me and don't make any noise. Bro, we just broke into this guy's house. Follow Ethan and find out what's happening. Can I pick up this bat? I can't pick anything up. I'm kind of scared. Not only uh, am I scared of breaking into this guy's house, and he might be evil. Uh, who's that? Oh, what is that, dude? Oh, and that's the neighbor. Run. We run. Oh, it's like a mannequin. What the heck is it? Oh, what happened? Someone hit it with a shovel? <laughs> Howdy, folks. Uh, who are you? It's like a cowboy. You are welcome. I saved your life. But I really have no idea what's going on. I'm so confused. What do we do now? Yeah, but what about what about Ethan's neighbor? Is he gone? I know what to do, but first, what are your what what are your names? I'm Ethan, he's Peter, and they are all my friends. Not to be offensive, but this isn't Halloween, so why the cowboy style? All right, listen. We were in a big problem. Somebody from Earth has opened a portal to three dimensions, which are called Earth, Black and White Paradise, and the old Wild West. So th this the dialogue's going super fast. This guy's talking about we we need three pendants or something like that for like each three dimension. If they take over Earth, everything will turn black and white. I can already see the colors fading. Yes, yeah, same, but who opened the portal and why? All I know is that if these three pendants go in the hands of evil, you could rule all the dimensions. If someone can open open rule all dimensions then why do you need help one pendant tells you where the others are so i know where to go exactly okay so we need to get the pendants maybe first you guys should go and look for something to fight this is crazy so these like monsters are like coming in from the other dimensions and somebody has all the pendants and that is how you like take control of all the dimensions but we need to stop that from happening i need to grab a weapon Maybe that bat that I saw earlier. Oh, even better. I got a hammer. Let's go. Okay, follow me. So maybe it's like an apocalypse of these crazy, like, mannequin monsters. I'm ready. I'm ready to fight. I picked up the big bat. Two hours later. Uh-oh, we're in the woods? Really? Hey, guys, isn't anyone else tired? You're always tired, big brother. All right, fine, we can stay at a place for a while. So maybe this like cowboy guy, Mr. Summers, maybe he has like a secret spot out here that we can hang out while we wait for the monsters. This seems like a good place to stay. We need to gather some resources to start a fire. Man, I'm too tired. Can you all gather the stuff, please? Yeah, same. Please? Yeah, I knew it. You'll just stand there here without any help like any other story game. <laughs> That is true. Pardon? I'm not tired. I'm going to help you guys. All right, so let's get looking for maybe like logs uh, or a rock. Oh, we got to get like a table and we have to get benches, like big tree, big tree branches to sit on. We got to get eight logs. Here we go. Oh, I got to bring it individually. I thought I could just gather like a bunch of them up in my hand. Here we go. I got the last log we need and we just need to get two more rocks. This is good. No, it's not. Can't you see the world's colors fading? I'm hungry. Anyone got something to eat? Well, I don't have anything. Sorry. So wait, the colors are, I guess, changing out here in the wilderness. So maybe it's supposed to be like way more vibrant and green. Everything is like slowly becoming black and white. I don't want to get late and live in a black and white world. I'm leaving. If anyone wants to come with me, then they can come. All right, we, we might want to go with this guy. Summers, we're going to hang out with you, dude. You're the only one that knows what's going on. Another 27, 27 minutes later. All right, so it looks like the pendant is somewhere here in this lab. We got to follow Summers to the other room of the lab. He's going to lead us to where the pendants are. Look at this laboratory, dude. This is crazy. Hmm, this is locked. Now what? 
Let's try to find something to open this door. Hmm, maybe a key card? There's gotta be a key card or like a crowbar or something. Good job, pony girl. Let's move on now. What did she get? A key card maybe? This is a big laboratory, dude. Uh-oh. Bro, the monsters are here. Those are so creepy. The black mannequins go and show them some colors. What with our, oh, uh, with our weapons. Yeah, look at how the colors are changing. This is cool. All right, we gotta beat these guys up. Get the monsters out of here. Ugh. Give them some color. Ah. Uh, what now? They're all gone. Uh, Summers, we, we defeated them. What's happening? There we go. <laughs> now what? We still need to go forward and find the pendant. I think it's in the next room. So prepare. Prepare for the first pendant to probably be guarded by a bunch of the demons. Uh-oh. Oh, look at this guy. He's like a mad scientist. Look who it is. The best cowboy from the big old Wild West. This guy got the second pendant. Oh, and that's how he's taking control of everything. Yeah, and I would like to take the one you have too. Really? Nah. And where's the third pendant? Here, take a look at my new friend from Black and White Paradise. Who got the third pendant? Uh-oh. Oh, he's gonna be a big mannequin. Whoa. But yeah, cowboy, I need that third pendant too. So I'll ask you again. Will you give me the pendant? Um, no. How about you give us both of yours? Fine. I guess we'll take it ourselves. Oh, great. Uh-oh. Wait, what's up with these guys' faces? <laughs> Look at that guy's face. Oh, it's Ethan. He's so scared. Oh, jeez. I just realized we're in, like, a boss battle. It's like a mini boss battle. We need to get those pendants. So it looks like Summers, the cowboy, he has one of the three pendants. And then these guys have the other two. So technically, we already found all the pendants. We just need to defeat these dudes. We're just getting started. Oh, no. We're probably going to lose a lot of people during this if this is actually going to be like the final boss battle. This is going to be tough. And everything is so black and white now. The colors have faded so much. Uh-oh, people are going to start oofing. Everyone's so weak. No, the spikes are going to... Oh, they're going to get people. <laughs> this guy never stops. Just keep jumping. Just spam jump and hope for the best. He's at half power usage. Oh, no, I got to... I got to start reviving people. Yo, look at all the people that have died. Stay strong, guys. I'm reviving you. <laughs> Every time I revive somebody, another one oofs. Why won't you die? He's at 73%. I'm about to die. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Stay stay alive. Or stay in the game. I'm trying to revive you, but it's not working. I'm sorry. No. Guys, don't leave me hanging. I don't want to be the last person in here. Uh-oh, I'm, I'm gonna have to revive people. Look at how weak everybody is. Yup, here come the spikes. Here, I'll revive you. Okay, stay there, stay there. Don't leave, don't leave. I got you. You guys, I've spent so many Robux trying to get people back. Okay, we're at 99%. 99%, come on! No more reviving! Stay alive! <laughs> we need those pendants. I think we did it. System is exhausted. How many people we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But two of them are NPCs. And now everything is like 100% black and white, you guys. They both are gone. And Earth turned black and white. Right, so this guy's dead. This demon dude. The mad scientist is dead. What now? At least we have the three pendants. Things can still be fixed, but there's a problem. We require a human sacrifice from the strongest one from any of the worlds. That means you, Summers. Yes, thanks for helping me with this, folks. Wait, what? Now I must destroy these pendants for once and bring peace and colors everywhere. Wait, guys, what do we do? Yes, bring back the colors? Or no, try to intervene. I don't know what to do. I don't want to intervene. I want to bring back the colors. We're going to make Summers sacrifice. Hopefully we get the good ending. We got the colorful ending. Thank you so much, Summers. Right, I, I don't want I don't want to oof. I want the the world to be better. 
and to be colorful. Because if I intervene, maybe the world would have stayed black and white. Look at this. Everything is turning colorful again. This is so neat. There we go. Get those vibrant colors popping. Four days later. Hey, welcome, guys. What's up? All right, ready to play some games? Um, I guess. He didn't even say anything about what just happened. Hmm. Ethan, where you going, my boy? Where, where, you're, wait, what? <laughs> All right, Ethan, see ya. Hey, do you still think about that Cowboy Summers? Yeah, like every day, honestly. He was cool. I miss him. I know, right? Anyways, let's not talk about it like we said. Yeah, we gotta keep that on hush mode. Yeah, right, let's start the game. All right, I guess we're just gonna pretend like nothing happened and we're gonna play some games. Is this the game or is the, the story over? Oh, I thought, I thought we were gonna play some PS5, Ethan, what the heck? <laughs> it's all good because that was, that, that was such a good game. It, it had such an awesome story. So everything turned black and white, but then we saved it. We got the three pendants, but then Summers, the cowboy, he was from like the Wild West dimension. Fortunately for everybody else in the world, he sacrificed himself. Yeah, I didn't really want to intervene because I feel like that would have been a bad ending. Probably the black and white ending, but we got the colorful one. Such an awesome story. You guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more story games, smack the like button and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.